Now when we look at the palace of Knossos, it's easy to consider the wills, the rulers who inhabited the structure, or the wizards who actually designed this wondrous building. However, there was another class of individuals who had significant influence in how the building was run, and that was the warriors who actually protected it. So warriors, this royal guard, which always holds a level of prestige within any kingdom, were aware to some degree or another that this building was the singular expression of the whole kingdom. So when you guard a palace, you're really capturing the attention of the entire kingdom. And the way you as a warrior function as a guard of that palace has profound meaning to every member of the kingdom who comes and visits. So doing it professionally, doing it well, and doing it visibly so that everybody can see the importance of your task is very important. So the first level of guarding a structure of this magnitude is to picket the perimeter, which is to lay out soldiers in a line around the outer edge as the first layer of protection. And their job is to stand still and watch. And as you can see the grandeur of this structure, you would need a lot of soldiers to keep an eye on all the points of access coming into this building. And they don't just watch the surroundings, they also watch each other. So if a soldier disappears suddenly, the other soldiers guarding need to be aware that that has happened and then raise the alarm accordingly. Now in the Civil War, picketing was used very extensively, and it was a line of soldiers in a moderately defensible position, and they stopped anybody who came toward that position, and if necessary, with the use of force. Now if you want to practice this, go and stand outside your home or your business and just be still and watch. And notice how people respond to you. They all of a sudden realize that this building is under some form of guard. You might not have a uniform, but you will see that people start treating the structure differently because you're standing outside. It's an important expression when a soldier stands guard at the perimeter. Now once you have this outer layer of picketers standing still, then you can implement patrols. And patrols go behind the picketers, because you don't want to make movement that's going to disrupt the picketers, so you patrol inside the structure. The reason you do this is because a patrol needs to surprise people. As you can see here, as you patrol from room to room, the people in the other room couldn't see you coming, and that's the intent of patrol, to stumble upon people that might be doing something they should not be doing and you have to be able to surprise them. You can't surprise people outside of the building when they can see you hundreds of yards away coming. You patrol inside the building. And when you look at the structure of this magnificent palace, there's a lot of passageways here. You can really sneak up on people. And you want to keep altering your patrols and the way you go through the structure so they can't anticipate where you might be. And while you're patrolling, you're also checking in on the picketers, seeing if they're in the right position. If they're not, you need to raise the alarm. So these patrols are very important. And you're going up the stairs and down the stairs. You're going through all the alleyways and the little crevices. People, where people can be hiding, you want to go through those areas and expose them. So in your own life, with whatever building you happen to be inhabiting, every once in a while, as a warrior, take a patrol. Just go around, do a head check, stop in, Maybe say hi to some people here or there, but notice how people start treating you differently if you're on a regular but altered patrol through your house or through your business, whatever place you tend to be, perform a patrol. This is a function of the warrior. So at times you want to be a picketer, at times you want to be patrolling, and then the last level of protection for a palace of this sort is to protect the password. These are the secret areas where very few people are allowed to go. Now there are the general areas where anybody can come and you know look at the wonderful structure. However, there's other areas which are off limits and this serves two main functions. First, there's just certain things that not everybody in the kingdom needs to have access to. It's best that they be protected. It also, secondly, has a important expression that there is value here and that 
this value is worth protecting, and people want to see that they're not allowed in certain areas. The people of the kingdom want to see that these warriors will protect what's valuable. And why? Because each of these individuals believes that they're the true value of the kingdom. They have the unique skills and talents, and they bring the wealth into the kingdom. So if you're protecting all these areas and you have different levels of security, not harsh, not mean, but just making it clear that there are certain areas they're not allowed to go, that shows them that the warriors of your kingdom value and will put their lives on the line to protect the things of value. And there is nothing more valuable than the people of the kingdom. So whatever building you happen to be in, practice these three arts. Pick at the perimeter, patrol the internal passages, and then find a way to protect what is valuable in the structure. And that will be treating whatever building you're in as it's your palace. And that captures the attention of everybody around you as you function in such a way as a warrior. So as a warrior, capture your kingdom within your physical palace.